Hi, my name is Amar. In this series, I will discuss each and everything related to RiverPod, like I did in case of FlutterGetX. This is the introduction video. Here, first of all, I will discuss what is RiverPod. As you can see here, RiverPod is a reactive state management and dependency injection framework that is the enhanced version of provider. Now, RiverPod is a reactive state management. This means whenever the state means the value of a variable changes, then the UI will be updated automatically and it is the enhanced version of provider actually there were there are some drawbacks of provider and to overcome those drawbacks the author of provider package that is remy rouselet has created this riverpod library it is a complete rewrite of the provider package correct now why riverpod these are the reasons why we will use RiverPod. The first one is cache programming errors at compile time. This means the error will be detected during compile time instead of runtime. Second is removes nesting for listening combining objects. Easily fetch, catch and update data from a remote source. Create, use and combine providers easily auto dispose the state of the provider when it is no longer used ensures that the code is testable these are the advantages of riverpod correct now how we can install riverpod the first one is flutter underscore riverpod this will be used whenever we are using the riverpod in a flutter application next is hooks riverpod now if our flutter application already uses flutter hooks then we can use hooks riverpod to use the advantages of riverpod library and the third one is riverpod this is used for all the dart projects correct now what are the types of riverpod providers that we will cover the first one is provider then we have state provider state notifier provider future provider stream provider change notifier provider all these things i will discuss as i will proceed okay now to use the river pod in our uh, id that can be visual studio code or android studio we can use these snippets because whenever we will use these snippets we can write the code more effectively correct that's it for river pod introduction i will uh, see you guys in the next video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching